I like having less choices in my plugins so long as it sounds good. Trying out the Gorilla Overdrive. What? Is it the Gorilla Overdrive? Gorilla Drive. Checking out the Gorilla Drive from Safari Pedals. Full disclosure, Safari Pedals reached out and asked if I wanted to try Gorilla Drive. They do have a 14-day free trial. It is available on their website, safaripedals.com, and it is 32 bucks right now. There is an affiliate link in the description. You like what it does and you want to go buy it, use that link and a small portion of your purchase will come back to this channel, so that'd be cool. All right, so the Gorilla Drive, what do they say? Ah, the Gorilla Drive offers a super soft preamp emulation with your amazing tone tilt button that shifts low end and subs to super high frequencies. Uh, I like this plugin because it looks like a guitar pedal. You've got an input, you've got an output, which you can link together with what they're calling auto gain, which is fine, but it's really just the inverse of input and output. However, you can drive the input further than the output knob goes down, if that makes sense. So I recorded a song, pretty simple song. It's got drums, bass, guitar, another guitar, and maybe, maybe even another guitar. I wanted to use the Gorilla Drive first and foremost on drums. I especially wanted to start with the room mic. I like the way that distorted and kind of uh, saturated room mics can sound and kind of liven up a drum sound. And here's just the room mic. I'll just kind of mess with the parameters. You can hear what this thing does. So you can get really crazy with this thing, as you can hear. What I really like is the blend function, which basically just allows you to mix this thing in in parallel. And if you bring it in really subtly, you can add sort of this really nice warmth to everything. And the Gorilla Drive is adding a saturation. It's adding a cool sub harmonic thing in that low end. Anyway, I used it fairly aggressively on the room mic. Here's what that sounds like. And here's what it sounds like with the whole drum mix. So as much as I liked what was happening on that room mic, I wanted something else happening specifically on the kick. Without the Gorilla Drive, it's sort of thin sounding. There's not that, uh, what do you call it? The thing where you hit the drum and it resonance. Using the Gorilla Drive really brought out this resonance that I was looking for. And it, it, it's crazy how it did it. I was actually really surprised. It's different. I haven't heard a plugin be able to do this. So here's what that sounds like in the context of the full drum mix.
obviously I want to put a little bit of grit and dirt on the base. And I recorded both straight out of the Sans amp and into a DI. Here's what the DI and the Sans amp sounded like without any Gorilla Drive on it. And here's the base DI with the Gorilla Drive on it. I'll bring it in with the blend knob so you kind of hear what it's adding. And here's both the DI and the Sans Amp together. Check out what happens when I use the phase button on the Gorilla Drive. This is actually a really handy feature because using this DI track along with the Sans Amp, if you don't have this phase flip, it can really suck out the low end. So I didn't really think to use the Gorilla Drive at first on the whole mix bus, but I threw it on there just to check it out. Here's what the mix sounded like without any Gorilla Drive on the mix bus. What I really like is that with this blend knob that you could just add just a little, a little bit of it, just a tiny bit. And I think I'm at like what, 4%? A little bit up in the higher, I'm, I'm right on his left fang. The, on the left fang, it sounded really good. So the first comparison that I think of is something like Decapitator, but it's not really doing what Decapitator does. When you use this tone knob and you get down to those uh, lower frequencies, that subharmonic thing that's happening, especially on that room mic and the kick, is, uh, is unique. Um, it almost sounds like it's a sub kick generator type thing. Um, with dirt on it. There's definitely a use for that. And I think a pretty frequent use that you could make an argument for in some genres. If you like the Gorilla Drive, again, there's an affiliate link in the description, $32 on sale, 49. I still feel like that's a pretty decent deal. I dig it, man. All right, see you in the next one.